Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions, and I'm going to show you how you can create a deep, um, contrasty black and white newborn image in Lightroom using the LSP Newborn Preset Workflow uh, Lightroom Collection by Lemon Sky. This is the uh, the updated set. If you have the old set, um, the original set, you will want to check your emails because you will have this in your inbox. Um, everyone gets free updates. If you have not um, purchased this yet, then I hope to show you um, just how these presets work for a black and white. So you open the newborn presets here, you will see you have your bases. The lights and the exposure, you can recover the shadows or the highlights. You can tone if you want to reduce jaundice or reds. You can change the contrast, add vignettes. Um, the black and whites is where we'll be working today. And you can tweak and change the black and whites and finish off. You also receive 20, starting here, number one, right down through to 20, Lemon Sky uh, Baby Newborn Brushes for Lightroom, which are fantastic. Okay, so let's get started. If you have not watched the, um, the first video where I'm editing a little bunny uh, baby in a hat, um, this image here, then you may want to watch that video first if you're unsure of how to use presets, but that's how I show you how to use them all. Okay, so let's choose the base for this image. The bases um, will literally kind of make adjustments throughout your entire image. I think I'm going to use a beautiful little tweak there. So as you can see, in just one click, we've gone from this to this. Baby's skin appears smoother and calmer, and everything is a little more balanced. You can change the lights here. I think I'm going to go to Lightly Brightly um, because I want this to be um, a lovely contrasty black and white image. I shot this specifically for black and white, which is why I used a darker background. You can change, um, you can recover the highlights, you can calm them, you can brighten them up. Um, I'm not sure I need to brighten them up right now, but I may go back to that section in a moment. Uh, if I deepen the shadows, I may now want to come up and brighten the highlights here. So remember I'm doing this for black and white, so I'm trying to get that contrast in there without picking out every spot and flake. You can take the tones down, reduce the reds. Um, for a coloured image, for black and white, I'm not going to do that right now. Contrast I'm going to come back to, and vignette also. So now I'm going to choose the black and white base. So as you can see I have my navigator open up here and I can simply hover over the base until I find the one that I'd really like um, to use as a starting point for this black and white image. I'm going to go for simple, um, so as you can see this has converted it to black and white. Or maybe I like desat contrast, I'm not sure. But you can always come back and change these, that's the great thing about presets is um, these are all unique and different so you can always go back a little bit um, later and you can change them just as you like. So we could go for contrast sharp but then I can also come back up here, if I want to, and deepen the shadows a little bit more, or calm down the highlights, um, just to start creating more of a black and white image. Your settings and your preset um, recipe that you use will be as unique as your image, it really will. Okay, so now I'm going to get onto the brushes to um, alter this image. First of all, I'm going to go on darker. I really want to darken down. In fact, I'm going to go on the darker, darker one, which is down here at the bottom, which is a heavy blacken and blur. I'm going to choose Auto Mask for this one because I don't want to darken the skin too much, I just want to really darken this background. Auto Mask uh, can be a little bit hit and miss in Lightroom, it's one of Lightroom's settings, um, but I find often it is quite good. And you can always turn it off if you want to, but when you want to change a specific area, Auto Mask can really be your friend. If you want to alter the whole image, like brightening the face or you know, just reducing reds um, everywhere with a brush, Auto mask perhaps isn't going to be your friend. I'm going to turn off auto mask when I want to brighten their arm, um, darken their arms down a little bit. And as you can see here, auto mask has left a little bit of pixelation, but it is darkening the background rather nicely. So I'm going to turn auto mask off now, make my brush a little bit bigger, and I'm actually going to kind of zoom out a little bit here as well by going on the uh, one over eight zoom, which means I can paint the brush outside of the image so just the feathered area of the brush is showing because I want to darken these hands down a little bit but not excessively. You will see I have the flow of my brush down here on 50 which means I can hold uh, the mouse or the tablet down and carry on painting 
um, until I'm happy and then take it off. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom into baby's face. And I'm going to choose a brush to really brighten up these eyes. And for that, I'm going to use Open Eye Pop. This brush is great for open eyes. It will really allow you to kind of brighten the iris right up. Um, and add a pop of sharpness and tone. I like to really concentrate the brightening um, opposite the catch light around here for a more natural brightening rather than alien eyes. As you can see this is very delicate action here. So I'm going to click new and go over it again. The reason this action is delicate is because um, like I said alien eyes sometimes it's hard to see um, just how much you're brightening in the moment and then when you get the gallery kind of saved <laughs> you suddenly realize that the baby's eyes are unnaturally bright and you don't want that you just want them to pop out beautifully um, you know picking out these little highlights in the eyes um, especially with the black and white so I'm taking a little bit of care and time which I'd always recommend with a black and white image black and whites are absolutely stunning uh, when you take care and time over with the areas that need to be white and the areas that need to be black and the areas also need to be brightened um, quite considerably. So now I'm going to hit new and I'm going to sharpen those eyelashes up to really make the eyes pop out a little bit more. So I'm going to run this around the edges of the eyes. As you can see baby has skin flakes um, to take care of those only in Lightroom you're going to want to use the clone the clone stamp okay. if baby has um, red areas on the skin if the skin is here looking a little bit mottled um, all babies are different if the preset hasn't quite perhaps lifted those models enough because like I said these presets are very delicate really to your image because I, I don't believe in over editing. Um, what you can do here is come to the hue saturation colour and black and white tab and you can simply lift the reds until those areas start disappearing. I wouldn't recommend going too high because baby will become very bright. but you can also use your darken brush to compensate for that. I'm going to use the darken burn brush here to darken the lips back down now because obviously the lips um, are normally the reddest area of your image even if the, the toes and the feet and the hands and any little red blotches seem to take away uh, the attention the, uh, the lips are the areas which, needs to stay, which need to stay dark, they really do. And just to give those eyes one more extra pop, I'm going to come up with just the standard light and brush and I'm going to run this through. Here, again, I've concentrated on the area opposite the catch light here. Again, I'm going to concentrate on the area opposite the catch light just here. My Lightroom likes to do this, it likes to create a line when I'm recording a video. When, I, when I'm not recording, my Lightroom behaves super well, but when I am recording, <laughs> it, um, it likes to run lag and be very, very slow. I'm going to soften the skin down. This birthmark here is baby's birthmark, so I'm leaving that one in. Um, but I have lightened it using the, the red trick on the black and white. I'm going to use soften more. And this will really add a really soft, sweet tone to baby's skin. I like to soften all the areas that mama would like to kiss. The forehead, the cheeks, the little button nose, tummy. All the areas that, um, that you would imagine to be soft in a newborn. And now 
I'm going to show you how to use the clone if you don't use it, but I'm not going to go for a full clone edit because um, otherwise you will be here for a while with how slow my Lightroom is and um, sorting out every little spot and flake. As you can see here, you can clone all of these in Lightroom, um, but I'm just going to show you this one, you know, because this one stands out. So I'm just going to show you how to do this one. I'm on heel, feather down a little bit because um, I don't want a full feathered um, healing and the opacity is 100%. Feather um, may still show some of the spot around the edges and I really want to target this flake because it's not blurred, it's hard, so I want to come in hard with the cloning, which is why I don't like to feather too much. Lightroom will then figure out where, which area you want to clone um, or heal from. I'm going to drag this um, and I'm going to move it over to this area here because um, I think that's a more suitable candidate to clone. When Lightroom decides to get its bumming gear and catch up, you will see this change. <laughs> but again, excuse my very slow Lightroom. So as you can see, it's now healed that flake up. And you can do that for all of the flakes or some of them if you wanted to. And now I'm going to use a contrast brush and a little bit of, um, of darkening on certain areas just to finish this black and white. So I'm just going to add some contrast in around here just to really pick this image out um, and make it stand out. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast and on those lips as well because I want the uh, the eyes to be drawn to baby's face and lips before you know before looking at the rest of this sweet little image here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast on those lips. As you can see that's really popped them out now. And darken. I could literally play for hours. Um, with an image, uh, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use this just to take some of the brightness down um, because I want baby's face to be the main feature of this image. So I'm just darkening down a little bit here and here. I'm going to darken mum's hand down. As you can see, I don't have auto mask selected for the brush because I'm just running a general um, shadowy dark around all these areas. Okay, so that is the LSP newborn preset workflow collection, um, a black and white example. I will show you the before and after if my Lightroom decides that it wants to show you. <laughs> so here we have before and here we have after. Oops. And as you can see, um, that is rather a big difference. And oh, all my talking aside, and my very slow, very laggy Lightroom, um, that edit would have been a lot quicker. So yeah, enjoy editing your black and whites. Certain other things I would do to this image, um, if I had time on this video, is remove the thumb using the clone option from Lightroom. I'd simply select the thumb and clone from this area of leg here. And I'd go through and just remove those last little spots and flakes um, to you know, just to tidy up this final image.